Mantles at full strength as Corey Nielsen looks for his side to win here. The Panthers have lost in the other three Scottish rinks this season at Dundee, at Edinburgh and at Fife. They've yet to play Brayhead here in the league, although they did lose here on penalty shots in the Aladdin Cup back in pre-season. A big two points it could be for them if they can get those tonight. And we're about to get the match underway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The referee there about to drop the puck. That's Goldie back in action for Brayhead. It's his first game since the 13th of October when Brayhead clan beat the Capitals by three goals to two. The lack of an early swipe at the puck. Panthers still have that extra man advantage. Callis. Looking for the advantage. Get it set. Robert Farmer at the back post, sweeping it into the net. Not what Brayhead needed at this time. On the power play, the Panthers have scored the opening goal. And of course, it would be Robert Farmer, the former Brayhead man, sticking the puck. Top shelf pass Kyle Jones. As we head into the final knockings of the first period. Oh. Puck swept in there, turned it up in the back of the net. 2.49 on the club, Panthers go 2 0 up. Couldn't quite see who, got, who perhaps got the final touch on that one. We'll get clarification in just a minute. But that's the Panthers, two up. Fan bringing it forward now on the break. Trim, late one from Goldie. Saved by Conway, Trim couldn't make up, couldn't get the follow up. Trim. We've got Peter Callis with him. Tau, McGrain, plays it inside. Here's Goldie. It's a shot from Goldie. It's a terrific finish. Brayhead flag, throw one back on the power play. McGrain feeding the puck to Goldie just inside the blue line. Goldie took a touch, swept it into the net. And the clan are back in this match. 25-13. Give Brayhead a power play of just under 1 minute 20 seconds, an extra man. Which as we know, nice hockey can make all the difference. That's Goldie. Cullen now. Fantastic from Joe Cullen. Takes it on the outside, comes back inside. Sends the puck into the top corner. Joe Cullen scores. Brayhead clan have equalised. Fantastic goal from Cullen. Certainly showing why Ryan Finnerty was keen to bring him to the club. That's another goal from him. Panthers. Was Francis going close to up the other end? Another stop from Conway. Power play ends. Callis back on the ice. You can definitely see the confidence flowing through these Brayhead players. They want to make up for what happened last week. There it is! Oh, Lee Esters! Fantastic finish! On the inside left. Finds the gap, sends the puck past Neil Conway. Brayhead clan a 3 2 ahead. Peter Callis 
Manages to get it away, Lakovic. And Callis combining. Two versus three. The Panthers bring it forward. They'll be keen to pull it level. And there it's there. Callis gets a final touch. Right in front of Kyle Jones's net. That final touch taken over Jones's shoulder. And the Panthers, what was I just saying about looking to regain parity? Well, they certainly got that with 13 seconds left to play of this second period. That'll make it nice and level for the third period. Here we are. Something happened in front there, Zajac was involved. Two or three confrontations down there. That was Zajac on Lakovic. Panthers players taking exception to that. I turn my head away for a second there, didn't quite catch it. I'm sure the cameraman caught it there. Joel Champagne and Murray just letting go of each other's shirts. Yep, got a thumbs up from the cameraman, he caught that there. The Panthers have won one in a shootout and they won the last two in overtime. Yes, we had that Aladdin Cup match in pre-season. They had winning that in penalty shots. Good effort there. That was Weaver with a shot. Chaparro plays it along the boards. Benedict looking for an option. Salters at the back. There it is. Swept in on the one timer. That's Chris Caprado. And the Panthers taking the lead. Forty-four, forty-three. Panthers regain the lead. It's four goals to three. Caprado with a finish at the back post. Jones couldn't get there. The league leaders take a lead once more. Jones leaves the puck from McGrain behind the goal. Fans sending the puck forward. Conway couldn't quite control it. Haywood. Ash Goldie is blocked. Tries again! Goldie scores! The second time I'm asking. Goldie's shot was blocked. Fell to him again. He sent it in in the top right hand corner. It was past Conway before he could react. It's another equaliser for Brayhead Clan. It's another goal for Ash Goldie on his return, his third point of the night. Goldie sits at 2 and 1. Clan on the power play, that's another goal. Puck drops again, we're off. Werner, the space, takes a shot. Jones makes a save. Clan rally in defence, get it away. Matt out. Now, here come the clan. Tau, Cullen down the inside left. Cullen. Tries to send a shot away. Eric Werner in the way of it. Cullen. Reverse pass to Tau. Tau, McGrain. McGrain looks for an opening. Has it been given? The puck, the puck hit the bar, I think. We thought the goal had been given. Referee Rob Cowan. Didn't signal for one. So close there. Clan fans nearly on their feet to cheer. Great effort from McGrain. Unlucky. Here they come again. Neil Trim. He's got McGrain. Puck is sent behind. Comes off Matt Francis. Here's Neil Trim. He's got Joel Champagne with him. Say Jacques there. Nicolat there. Nicolat. Shot blocked by Conway. That's a good save. Champagne. Thirty seconds left. Panthers taking their time. Lakovic tries to skip to the outside of Joe Cullen. They can't bring it forward. Here's Ed McGrain. Panthers. Intercept it, it's on the break. 
Francis. And there it is. Matt Francis scores with three seconds left. Heartbreak for Brayhead Clan. Francis finishes in overtime. McGrain hit the post, or hit the bar. Certainly rattled the pipes anyway. The fans thought Brayhead had, had snuck the win. However, Francis with three seconds left, clinches a win for Panthers that lifts them up to third place. Brayhead remains second, their point from tonight keeps them up there. It's a big result for Panthers though, they've beaten first and second in two consecutive matches. Could the Panthers be finding their stride? Who knows? It's a big win for them tonight as Mark Francis scores the winner. Final result, Brayhead Clan 4, Nottingham Panthers 5 in overtime.